Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games back with another really cool arcade game for you. This is a uh, a video of one that we don't see very often at all because a lot of them, uh, there's just such a big cabinet that you don't see as many of these around anymore. But this is 1988's Mechanized Attack. Like he just said, right? <laughs> SNK made this in 1988. Now, it is a gun game. Let's see if I can zoom in. <laughs> It is a gun game. What does that game look like? It looks very similar to Operation Wolf. Operation Wolf had came out in 1987. So SNK saw how popular uh, Operation Wolf was, which was a Tato game. Taito, Taito, whatever. <laughs> There's a big uh, debate uh, on whether what's the proper way to pronounce that. But anyway, uh, 1987, Operation Wolf had came out. Everybody knows about Operation Wolf, famous game, uh, very popular, sold a ton of cabinets. Uh, so 1988, SNK brought out their, their version, Mechanized Attack, a very similar game. It's basically an Operation Wolf ripoff, to be honest. Um, there's a lot more going on, and if you notice on the control panel, there are two guns. And so SNK played this up by saying that they were the pioneers of two-player, they had perfected two-player gameplay two-player simultaneous gameplay and it, they put that on all their flyers and everything the flyers of course trying to sell the the game not to players but to operators to purchase it and so uh, basically what they were what they were leaning on was their success with Akari Warriors Akari Warriors was an SNK game and you know you play two players at the same time uh, which was uh, awesome to, to use a word awesome Akari Warriors was a great game so uh, 1988 that came out with Mechanized Attack, which was their Operation Wolf type game. Um, you can see the cabinet. We got these in in that bunch of games that we got where we bought 50 off of the lady. Uh, it needed a lot of work, so we're just now getting the thing uh, ready. We've had it for a couple months. This one almost didn't make the cut, but we were able to spend some money and some time and some effort and uh, fix it. A lot of people, whenever they talk about this game, they'll call it Mechanized Attack 4 because it kind of looks like that if you look at the art, but it's not a 4, it's just the bottom of the uh, of the gun. Um, it's kind of just a stylized uh, logo that looks like an Uzi. And so you've got these Terminator type characters in the game, right? And check out the art. It's just got all kinds of stuff going on. You've kind of got a Doc Octopus thing going on too, with the tentacles or whatever. And then you've got a, a brain back there. You know, you got to remember Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was a big deal at this time. And the art actually says 1989 SNK Corp. So maybe they didn't get it out till '89. I don't know. Maybe it came out overseas first, but. Um, 88, 89 something. I'm sure someone will comment below and correct me. And the front of these was just a plain red kind of look. Um, just red vinyl. On the top there was a piece of plexiglass, but whenever we got it, it was just destroyed, so we took that off. Um, the two guns weren't working. Um, so we replaced the uh, the electronics inside the guns and got them working. The two recoils weren't working. Um, the game actually vibrates as you shoot it. Uh, that wasn't working, so we got that working again. The light was not working, <laughs> so we got the light working again. The monitor was not working, so we got the monitor working again. This thing fought us the whole way, but we, we, we got there. You can see the gameplay is very similar to Operation War. We'll play it here in a second so you can see what it's like. So let's look at the instructions here. It says, coin up left gun and left coin slot. Bloop. Oh, also the coin door was messed up, but we, we had to put some parts on it. Basic operation, grenade launch, rocket bomb. On the side of the gun, there is a grenade button. And there is a trigger for machine gun. This also says 1989 on it. The plot thickens. How to play. It also says 89 on the uh, screen. 
So there. Pull trigger to fire a machine gun. Use button on side of gun to launch grenades and rocket bombs. Holding trigger in will allow continuous firing of gun, but you can run out of bullets. Can you believe that? Obtain bonus items by shooting them. Do everything by shooting it. Player can destroy enemy weapons by shooting them before they reach the bottom of the screen. Okay, that's that's good to uh, understand. Player can destroy enemy weapons by shooting them before they reach the bottom of the screen. They're talking about the, see how it's shooting missiles at you and stuff? If you shoot the missile before it gets to you. Like, here, this, this helicopter, watch. Oh, no, he didn't do anything. Basically, they shoot missiles at you. If you shoot them out of the air, they don't hurt. There, like that one. All right. All right, where were we? Warning will sound when life gauge is getting low. So what that really means is warning will sound when you should put in another quarter. And over here, we have a list of bonus items. I'm trying to talk loud because the attract sound is on. Bonus items, bullet magazine. It restores 32 bullets. The grenade, it does a wide range of damage. The rocket bomb. It wipes out all enemies on the screen, but use these sparingly, folks. First aid box, it recovers part of the hero's damage because if you put in a quarter, you're a hero. Bulletproof jacket, it protects the hero from half of the enemy damage. That's pretty cool. I haven't gotten one of those yet. Energy potion, completely recovers the hero's damage. And this says, coin up the right gun. Bloop in the right gut and coin slot. Bloop. This hole over here was they had a, uh, I don't I think they had like a bill acceptor on it or something. That lock doesn't seem to do anything. I can't figure it out. And here's the art for this side. As usual, just a mirror of the other side. And here's the awesome marquee art. Check that out. It, the game has a really good look to it. It's just a cool cabinet. And it is huge, folks. It's a big cabinet. And it's very heavy. I've heard people online say that the front part, the red part, that whole piece right here, can all come off. But we usually don't do stuff where we disassemble the game for transport or anything. We just move them all at once, and uh, this one's tough. Oh, and there's also one other thing. There is a drawer in the bottom with all of the... Uh, stuff in it, which uh, was also a ripoff of Tato because Operation Wolf was like that as well. So there you go. I will grab the tripod and we'll set it up and we'll play through a little bit. I'm not going to play the whole game because, you know, I want to leave a little uh, a little for you folks to explore on your own. Plus, I suck. But what I'll do is I'll play just a little bit, a few minutes of it. All right, folks. Here we go. I'm going to play through it a little bit. I've coined it up. It says, says press P1 button. That's because it has credits. All right, we're going to play through. I'll play the first player gun, and you guys can act like you're the second player gun. Now, whenever you, uh, you'll hear a, like a, the whole time, that's, there's a solenoid in the uh, machine gun that slaps the back of it constantly, making all kinds of noise. So that's the, uh, it, it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Let's fight. Let's fight. Your mission. Save captured spies. Oh, okay. Start. And then we're going over there. Stage one. Land. So we're going to land first. Here we go. Oh, I forgot about the... I forgot about the... the uh, I got to find my button for the grenade. Oh, here we go. I have found it. So basically, you can shoot the, gr the rockets out of the sky. I don't know if you should, I don't know if you're supposed to shoot the guys in the water or not, but since it's a game and I have a gun, I'm just going to shoot everything, including a submarine with a grenade. Oh, it didn't work. See my bullets at the top? You can actually run out of bullets in this game. Whoa! 
That's right, I used one grenade and blew up a, a jet and two uh, battleships. Oh man, what are they doing to me? Dead. But I'm going to continue. I wonder how you, uh, how do you, uh, hmm. Oh, okay. My rank is nine. Why, yes, I will continue. an accident. Again, yes, I will continue. Yeah, that's right. I beat the boss. You landed safely. Attack after dark. All right. Emergency. Watch out. They are in the woods. like it's it's almost like street fighter all right infiltration okay check out it. these things are like terminators i don't know if you can shoot them when you're when you can't see them or not i guess This one. Some of the Terminators look like humans. That's pretty cool. What? Oh, there's the vest. dead they know my name come on now I art dead press player one button all right
Yeah. Take some of that. with a grenade and it bounced off of him. Imagine how much more fun this would be with uh, two players. All right, so I don't think you can hurt that guy when he's back there. if I was hitting him low the whole time because it looked like when I was hitting at his head it like hurt him more you save spies go after enemy base all right emergency look the warehouse enemy ambush oh no Stage three, attack. I mean, this stage here looks exactly like Operation Wolf. dead. Oh, not the knives. A little shinobi style there. getting tougher folks really if you think about it though for one person I'm doing pretty good I mean I've killed about 400 enemies maybe even mo uh oh sounds like a boss
That's what's up. Oh, come on. Stage clear. Bonus points. I got more points. That's good. Enemy's leader escaped. Track him down. All right. Emergency. Enemy transport attack. Attack. Yeah. Whoa. Oh no. I'm down to my last quarter, folks. Yeah! I cleared. Chase. I think they did a good job on the, the ones that are Terminators. They look cool. Thou art dead. is mechanized attack now by the time you see this video mr. mechanized attack may have already uh, headed off to someone else's uh, game room we may not even have it for sale anymore because we don't know when you're watching this it could be 2020 it could be 2030 we don't know but maybe we'll have something else you're interested in. If you'd like to see all of the games that we have available for sale right now, like this one, go to our website um, at lionsarcade.com. So even if it's years from now, that'll be up to date. Um, and uh, if uh, you're in the area, you can stop by and see us. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. And we've got a whole room full of games here at all times. We're constantly working on them and fixing them and selling them. Um, and if you're not in the area or you're not looking for an arcade game, just uh, subscribe to us here on YouTube. We'll be filming a heck of a lot more videos. Every time we get something interesting in like this, we'll, uh, we'll film a little video of it. So we will see you on the next video.